everyone welcome back or welcome if you're new here in today's video i am going to be decorating for fall and kind of getting into the fall spirit i am ready for colder weather it has been around like mid 80s so hopefully within the next couple of weeks it'll start cooling down but anyways I am wanting to buy some fall decor, kind of decorate my room, and with me still living at home, I can't really get much because there's only so much you can decorate in this little space, so I actually have bought a few fall slash Halloween items last season, so I'll show you that and then just take you around to go decorate for fall first i am going to just show you what i have got set out from last fall and i also went to a thrift store and bought some books that are kind of like fall color so i'll also show you that and how i um styled it this pillow is from Hocus Pocus, but I got that at Walmart last year. And then this lamp, I actually have had the lamp. So I printed out bats and then I cut them out and taped them inside of my lamp, which is super cute and really affordable if you are just looking for some extra Halloween decor super cute and now coming over to this little cubby I have a fall candle that's vanilla and those are the books that I got from the thrift store so I actually just took off the covers so I think that's super cute and vintage and then the pumpkin I got that last fall from I believe Hobby Lobby and I also got the candle from Hobby Lobby so that's all the decoration that I have so far I am maybe wanting to get either some more pumpkins or I've seen on Pinterest where they're like vintage candle holders with like the long candles on top with like the drip in wax I actually looked for that at the thrift store and did not have any luck but I did find the books so I think that looks cute and that's um kind of fall like the fall colors like the burgundy so oh also I forgot to mention last video and all my videos I have blonde hair I just dyed it um it's actually not all the way brown it's um she did the root melt so it is brown and then it fades into blonde so probably from about here down is still blonde but i really think that it's so cute for fall so i have not had brown in my hair in a long time a couple years so let me know what you think i think it's pretty cute so i might keep this up until maybe summer so keep this throughout fall and winter, but we will see in my next appointment how I'm feeling. It is actually a few days later, and one thing that I'm going to do to kind of get ready for fall is I'm going to do my nails. So I've actually been into doing my nails at home. So I bought a dip powder, um kit off of Amazon it was only around $30 which is not bad at all because you go to the nail salon once and you pay over that much so I'll just show you what it looks like real quick so it looks like that and it comes with a bunch of colors and then and it also comes with directions on like step on step by step 
on how to apply the dip nails. Just there's three different liquids you put on. It's super easy. And the kit I actually got is more summer colors, but I believe there is a kit that's more fall colors. So I could either do orange, red, because I have been seeing on TikTok where a bunch of people are getting red for the fall, or I feel like purple is kind of a fall color. So I don't know yet. I have not decided. Also, if you want me to make a video like separately on how I do my nails, I can definitely do that. Just let me know in the comments. I decided to go with the purple color. So I think that's cute for transitioning into fall. I need to look into getting more um, fall color nails. But anyways, today I'm wanting to possibly go to Hobby Lobby because their fall stuff is 40% off. And probably Marshalls. I feel like they usually have a bunch of cute fall stuff. So those are two places that I'm wanting to go today and maybe get a fall drink from Starbucks. I haven't decided yet, but that's kind of my plan for today to transition into fall and get some stuff to decorate my room. First stop is Hobby Lobby and good thing Marshalls is right beside Hobby Lobby, so I'm just going to go straight there. I'm not really looking for anything in particular. I'm going towards more of a neutral look. So, let's see what I can find. And hopefully it's not too busy because usually Marshall's is packed out on Saturday. I guess we'll see. But hopefully I'll get lucky and find some cute stuff. Well, I did not have any luck in Hobby Lobby, Marshalls, or Ross. So I think I'm going to run to a few more stores and fingers crossed that I can find a couple of Halloween slash fall decorations. But, um, Hobby Lobby was having 50% off on their Christmas stuff. I found this little Christmas tree. Not too big. It was sage green. I was this close to buying it. I was so tempted. But, I'm here shopping for fall. So, I decided against it. Hopefully, my shopping will not be a bust, and hopefully I find stuff, but I will update you guys and let you know. Just came out of Dollar Tree, and good news, I got a bunch of stuff to, I'm going to make a bunch of Halloween um, decorations, so I will show you after I get done making them. But I'll give you a haul of everything I got. And I think I'm going to go back to Hobby Lobby. I need some lights and some of the clear ornaments. I, for one of the projects that I'm going to be making, I couldn't find any clear ornaments in Dollar Tree. And the lights that I want, they were all orange or purple. And I want regular lights. And since the Christmas stuff is 50% off. Hopefully the lights and the ornaments will be too. So I'm excited to show you what I got but I'll show you after I go and get the stuff from Hobby Lobby. I just got home. Um, I'll show you everything that I got from shopping. I will show the after 
product because everything is really I'm going to make. So I'll show you whenever I get done. I was intending on getting stuff more for fall. But everything I got is pretty much for Halloween. Which I'm not mad about because I love Halloween. I was just going for fall because um, it's kind of a while till Halloween. Not really, but you know what I mean. Anyways, so... Some of this stuff will make sense whenever I actually show you the finished product. So I got this. It's a skeleton. And then it's like a bowl. So I'm going to take the um, ornaments that I got. And I'm going to hot glue them in there to make it look like bubbles like a in a cauldron. And then I bought some lights to go inside so it's glowing. Um, I got two of these skeleton hands. I love the color, but I might take out the glass. I haven't decided yet, but I got these candles that light up. Hopefully they work. I don't think there's batteries in them yet, but I'm going to hot glue them inside there so I don't know if I'm gonna take out the glass or not yet I don't really know how hard that's gonna be but I thought that was cute the candle doesn't fit perfectly so hopefully it won't look too terrible and um I also got oh this is not something I'm gonna make it's like a um a cauldron and then it has you just put water in there and it glows up and smoke comes out of it super cute and then the last thing is i can't remember what who makes it but the pumpkin i mean not pumpkin the ghost that's holding the pumpkin that's like a hundred dollars why can i not think of it's on the tip of my tongue I thought it was so cute, but I'm not spending a hundred dollars. So I found this um, ghost, and I'm going to take paper towel holder, and I'm going to make it into the ghost. And then I bought this pumpkin. It's like a pinkish color for him to be holding, and I bought orange lights to go inside don't know if i'm going to use that yet because i don't think the original has lights inside but i just bought it because i thought it'd be cute and it was only a dollar so i'm gonna try that out to see how that looks so that's everything that i've got and i will show you whenever i'm done but overall it's been a very successful shopping day even though i didn't get anything from marshall's or well i went back to hobby lobby but yeah, and I ended up not getting a Starbucks because, honestly, I didn't. I've been out for a while, so I kind of just wanted to get home and start making that stuff. But, yeah, I'll show you whenever I get done. It needs batteries. That's what it looks like with it on. I really like it. All right, on to the next. I think I'm just going to glue them and not take this plastic cup out since this candle is a lot smaller than the hand. I think it might look weird. I think I'm also going to do hot glue around and have it like dripping. I'm going to go ahead and set up the little um, cauldron with the smoke coming out. It came with this and a cord. The box just says to get a box. So luckily I have an extra box. Get an extra box and then plug it in and then put water in the middle. So we'll see how that turns out. Hopefully it looks cool. So it changes colors 
and yeah, it's definitely smoking. I didn't really read the instructions good enough. I filled up the water to the very top and there's a max line and the max line is filling up like that. Emptied it out and I'm like, it's not, and I filled it up to the max line. It wasn't smoking at all. It was lighting up, but it wasn't smoking. So I was like, okay, poured out the water. And then I, sorry, my camera just died on me. But what I was saying was I filled it up to the max line, emptied it out, filled it, um, cleaned it out. And I was like, okay, maybe it got wet where it's not supposed to. So after wiping that out, I put more water back in there to the max line. And yeah, it started smoking. It's not smoking as much as the box shows, but honestly, it's smoking pretty good for it to be, what, three, five dollars? I think it was five. Yeah, oops. But yeah, I'm gonna set it beside the skull. Um, I think it'll be really cute. And it says on the box that it goes for four hours and then cuts off automatically. I don't know if that means the smoke runs out. I wouldn't think so. I think it's made by the water. I guess we'll see after it runs for a little bit. But here it is again, as you can see. And then I'll show it to you um, whenever it's all done. I'll show you how I set it out. So now I'm done with both of these and now I'm gonna let's try the ghost. Okay, now I'm going to try to put the lights in there and see how they look. Let me know what you think. You I think it's there? cute. I have everything set up and I am obsessed so let me just go ahead and show you all the final touches and also um right there above my closet i already had the lights but i bought some black like cobwebs at dollar tree i didn't know what i was going to do with that i don't even know if i showed it in my haul but i decided to put it there and it turned out really cute today's video I know that all of my videos are all vlogs um, whenever I go on vacation but I wanted to try something different and so this is all of the decorate with me for fall slash Halloween if you liked this video please make sure to give it a big like and subscribe to see more also, if you have any other ideas or anything that you would like to see from me, I would be glad to hear your thoughts on videos I should make. So just let me know in the comments. But thank you everyone for watching. And I hope you have a great day.